Hey you guys, it's Victoria. On the weekend, I was driving home from a conference with my good friend Yvonne, and she suggested why not stop in one of the nice little towns we were going through to stretch out our legs and do a little bit of shopping. Check out the boutiques. I swear, it was Yvonne's idea all the way, but I was eager to please Yvonne, so we did. We stopped in a beautiful, beautiful, quaint little town, which had tons of gorgeous little boutiques. And yet, we had the absolute best luck and finds and fun at a consignment store. Now, there was two secondhand stores there, one being the consignment and one just strictly a secondhand store. And we came home both with bags full. But I have to tell you, on upon entering immediately, I was a little irritated. It was packed. And when I say packed, like you could barely move. It was jam packed, full of racks, stuff piled on top of each other, shoes underneath. But because of all the other boutiques we'd already been in, I thought, you know what? There are going to be some good high-end quality items in here. We just have to take some time to look. And sure enough, there was. In fact, as soon as I started separating some of the clothing on the rack right behind me, I knew it. I thought, we have got some gems here. We had a blast, Yvonne and I, grabbing each other things and, and trying on our clothes. And I came home with nine items, three dresses, five jackets, and a necklace. My average price, it all averaged out to $16.50 each. And these items are really, really good quality items. I'm gonna go through them quickly. So we have this beautiful statement piece necklace. We all know how much I love a statement piece. And I bought a white linen dress, two little black dresses, and then I went for the blazers or jackets because like the necklace, it's that third piece that can sometimes just finish off an outfit. So I was key on looking for things that A, I could replace in my closet. So for example, I just had donated or given away or sold, I think about six different dresses in my closet. So I, I'm looking for new dresses, found three beautiful ones. And then the jackets they can just add a little bit of something something a nice summer blazer this one is more for fall but it's really cozy and cute a tan leather this leather if you could only feel it it's like butter silk leather jacket sixteen dollars and fifty cents when it averaged out little satin blazer for with a nice fringe for christmas or new year's and then another little crop jean jacket my jean jacket I currently own, I've had for probably 15 years. I still love it, but I was ready to update it. So I have a couple tips for you today because when we go sale shopping or secondhand shopping or consignment store shopping, it's so easy to get caught up in the low ticketed price. And I am no different. I was loving it being in the store, but I held myself to a couple rules that I follow all the time nowadays. And that being, I was looking for things that I knew would already coordinate with other items in my closet. So that would be my first tip for you. Think about what you have in your closet and what you can coordinate with that, what's lacking. Because again, when we're on a sale, we're just looking at what's on sale instead of thinking, okay, what can we really implement and expand our wardrobe with? And so that's what I was going for today. The second thing I want you to be conscious of is really taking a good look all over the, the item to see if there is any disrepair that may have got missed, to make sure that the uh, seams are all very well put together, or the hem, and if they're not, that's okay too, because when it's second hand, that is a quick, easy fix. I don't recommend buying things that you're gonna lose 10 pounds to get rid of, to get into rather. Buy things that fit you well now, even if they're a really fun shape or good shape for your body, but could even go in a little bit. Things that you know your seamstress or tailor could easily bring in to fit you well, those are quick fixes. A zipper is kind of a quick fix as well, but you are gonna spend a little bit more money. All of the items I bought are in perfectly sh good shape. I think two of them still had their tags on them. So that is my quick two tips for you. Go out, have some fun, play dress up, but keep in mind, what you already have in your closet so that you're not ending up with things that are just sitting there not being worn. You want to feel put together. You want to feel inspired every day getting dressed and I want to help you get there.
So if you have any more questions about my trip or about me, head on over to beautifulyoubyvictoria.com. Thanks for watching.